This is the first small blower that actually blows me away. This small tool is very, very useful and we went all in on testing it out on different areas. As you can see, this tool is covered in dust. This tool moves a very small amount of air very quickly. 449 mile per hour air moving out of here, 39 CFM. So it's not a ton of air, but man, that air is moving and this tool does a lot of work. Let's check it out. This Makita blower truly takes the place of a small air compressor to blow out things on the job site. It's amazing how much air it'll actually move, but really how fast it'll move it. Check this out. It's impressive. I know it's a little bit big, but you know, what else are you gonna have on the job site other than an air compressor that's gonna do something as well as this is? To give you an idea on this blower size, here is a Metabo HPT triple hammer with the 36 volt battery on it. It makes this tool look quite large, but on the other hand, I do have the five amp hour 40 volt XGT Makita battery on here, which does not help its weight either. This is a very, very large battery, but this tool here is absolutely awesome you have modes on the bottom so you can switch through those modes it'll adjust the speed of the air that's leaving we have a multitude of different tubes that we can put on front this one's going to fill up small air mattresses now remember 39 cfm so it's not going to be the fastest this one is going to blow air in multiple different directions kind of giving you a fan on the outside this dude's a little bit larger than this one, so you're gonna just get a less concentrated airflow. And this one, I'm not really sure. It's got three levels. It blows a little bit of air here, a little bit of air here in a very dedicated and jet stream of air out the center. Not quite sure on it. To change these, super simple. We pull back the collar, turn, come out. To snap them in, we can just go straight in pull back out very ingenious design i love it you can do multiple different things with this these are not just going to pop off it's a great design here the only issue that i see is that a lot of that dust because of wherever you're pushing it comes right back on the tool and there is a filter in the back so you're not pushing that right back through but this tool in itself is going to have to be cleaned quite often just to make sure that we don't get this inside the tool and do any damaging to any of the internal parts. Well, the trigger on the side does have a lock, so you can lock it off, but it also has a lock on. So if we pull the trigger, push that button, and it's on. Due to the amount of air that is moving, it's not the quietest tool out there. It does have a brushless motor, but man, this thing gets the job done. And the LED light that's on the bottom is perfect. It, it really helps you see through all that dust that you're gonna be moving. To give you an idea on how much air this moves, here's some metal shavings from us going over the bandsaw the other day. By no means is this tool meant to do that, but it will. The design of this dust blower truly to me is tool of the year from Makita. It is absolutely awesome and it has uses that are gonna go well beyond just the job site or just industrial areas. Anytime you need to blow the dust, the shavings, the metal particles, anything off of your work, you can just grab this tool, hit it, and keep going. It's light, it's small, and it's easy to use compared to a lot of larger job site blowers. It's just ingenious as to how it's put together, how the modes work. It's simple, but it does have a lock on, and it works. It's absolutely awesome. The way the different tips go on work well. Someone could use this easily just to take care of their other tools by blowing off the dust and just moving on and having something that's not an air compressor on the job site. Switch over to an office situation where a guy is taking care of a lot of computers. He needs something that's a small air compressor to blow the dust out of the stuff. Here he has it. And he has all kinds of different nozzles to adjust to what he needs to get done. Very sweet, 
from a tool that goes from office to job site to DIY at home. It's not the least expensive tool out there on the market, but with that said, it's well designed. This tool is made in China, which is something that we haven't seen a lot of other XGT tools come out as. A lot of them were made in Japan, but with that said, still a very nice tool, very comfortable, very easy to use, and I think very well designed. Very interested to hear your opinions on that down below. I'd like to thank Acme Tools for educating me a little bit on the XGT charger. If you're going to get into the XGT lineup, you're going to need an XGT charger. You're not going to use the LXT charger on your XGT system, but you can use your XGT charger with a $29 adapter to charge your LXT 18 volt batteries. So that is something that you can do. So if you're going to buy one charger, buy the XGT charger that'll do the 40 volt, buy the $29 adapter, and now you can charge all of Makita's batteries. Very cool. Thank you for your time. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great day.